To many, stories of innovation of new technologies mainly start after completing or pursuing a course in a university or professional institution. However, for Cedric Otolo and four of his friends, their story started right from childhood. We actually grew up together. We went to the same high school. We have been doing technology things back even in high school. After graduating from various institutions, their passion for innovation continues to grow. According to Cedric, they have managed to develop a number of technologies to shoot current problems. Right now we are measuring on improving the services and businesses by building softwares, you know, systems, management systems, mobile apps, robotics, and doing a lot of different IT services within Lira here. Uganda, just like most other developing countries, still faces challenges in managing maternal and antenatal care due to the high cost and limited access to good health care facilities. Cedric recalls a similar ordeal that informed his decision to develop the technology. My cousin brother was expecting, you know, like a baby, but all of a sudden the baby died uh, four days before the baby was born. And it was really painful, like a really painful story. And that really captivated my mind and then the team and be like, what can we do? We had an idea of doing something for pregnant mothers, but when this scenario happened, it triggered more interest to in seeing what can we do to change something in our community. With such factors in mind, the group of youth under their brand Kakebe Technologies have developed a new technology called Precare to monitor the conditions of expectant mothers virtually. We are prototyping, we are building. We are building in the lab you know, time and again to see when we can bring it out to people so that they can use it. But how does the technology operate? So this is a device that you wear on your wrist, like a watch. We have expected mothers wear this device, and then it tracks their temperature, heartbeat, pressure, GPS location, and some other minor details of a mother's body. Even without the use of internet, a number of expectant mothers can be monitored within a 10-kilometer radius. Assuming in Lira here we have our gateway in Kakebe offices, and we have 100 moms in the range of uh, 10 kilometers, radius of 10 kilometers, we can get their data. Even without the use of internet, using radio communications and GSMS. We are focused also on the, securi the security aspect to ensure that, you know, today there is so many cases of cybercrime. And I think one of the biggest questions that might come to people's mind is how are we, uh, you know, coming up with solutions toward that. So we have several approaches that we have uh, employed to counter issues of cy cyber threats. And that starts from the softwares that we're using. Through a mobile phone and also linked to a mobile application, both the expectant mother and a doctor are able to get real-time updates of their health condition. Let's say temperature is beyond normal or the temperature is too low, the doctor gets a trigger on their phones and gets to go to the detail of what the problem, what the most likely problem could be. And then on the mother's side, in case you know her temperature is beyond normal, the heartbeat is beyond normal, or there's some other health-related issues, she get a notification on her phone, be it it's a, it's a button phone or it's a smartphone. According to Patrick Okello, a computer scientist who is also one of the developers of the device, the new technology is built to handle any weather changes. I, I can't say it's 100% water resistant, but the material we're using tries to help in that condition. Let's say, for example, there's a slight rain or a mother is beaten up by rain coming back from the well, or maybe during a hot weather or in a hot day, during a hot season. One would wonder if the device can be passed on to another expectant mother after one giving birth. It's a device that uh, when a mother is pregnant, is assigned to a mother and is going to track and monitor that particular mother. And so if a mother wishes to transfer it to another person, or give back to help other mothers, it's very possible and it would actually be set up to monitor the person whom it has been transferred to. With the new technology in advanced stages of development, the team believes it will play a significant contribution to improving antenatal care in Uganda. However, the process has gone through a number of challenges. I mean, you have the idea, you want to move the idea, but you don't have the resources. At the genesis of everything, we almost gave up. Not until we had to save some money, around 500000 because we believe that this can work. The news of the new technology has sparked excitement among Ugandans who have taken to social media. Now, a similar post by NTV's Andrew Chamagero has prompted Airtel Uganda to support the dream. We discussed uh, about this particular uh, innovator in detail. Mm. And, you know, as discussed, we are ready to give a lot of support. Mm 
to bring this uh, to life mm. and uh, for him to fulfill his dreams. Despite all the challenges, the Kakebe Technologies dream of creating a technology driven community still remains alive. You know, if you move around the streets, you'll see kids who, who, who have actually made cars using card box or wires, you know. So we want to see how best we can nurture these kids and give them some necessary skills, you know, that they're lacking. So that within two or three years, they're actually developing something that the country can use. Government has over the years advocated for increased innovation in the science field. Nelson Omoya, NTV.